in this video we shall discuss the second derivative test for function of one variable and we will investigate how it is used to find the critical points that is maxima minima and points of inflection for a function of one variable first we give the statement of a second derivative test consider a function of one variable y is equal to f of x first we find its first derivative f dash x and second derivative f double dash x to locate the critical points on the curve we place f dash x is equal to 0 that is first derivative is placed equal to 0 and we solve uh, for the values of x say x is equal to c now we place uh, this value of x in the second derivative and if the double derivative at c is less than 0 then x is equal to c is point of maximum value and if uh, the second derivative is positive then x is equal to c is point of minimum value and if f double dash c is equal to 0 then x is equal to c is a possible point of inflection this is the statement of second derivative test now we will discuss in detail all of its cases maxima minima and points of inflection we first take the case when the double derivative at point c is negative but before moving on we must know first that what is the meaning of second derivative to be positive or negative uh, if the second derivative is positive it means the curve is concave up and if the second derivative is negative it means curve is concave down uh, we explain it by drawing the graph of a certain curve the portion of uh, graph of a certain curve is shown in the figure we take the point x is equal to c and we note that about this point the curve is concave down the curve is concave down and if the curve is concave down then the second derivative uh, is negative according to the definition of concavity also note that at a point x is equal to c the value of the function is maximum so we can say that if the derivative second derivative uh, of a function is less than zero then at that point the function has maximum value so here x is equal to c is the point of maximum value now we come to the second part of uh, the statement when f double dash c is a positive we draw the graph of uh, a certain portion of a certain curve to explain the second case of the second derivative test uh, we take the point uh, c x is equal to c and we note that uh, around this point the curve is concave up so if the curve is concave up the second derivative must be positive also note that at x is equal to c the value of the function is the lowest point on this whole curve so at x is equal to c the uh, value of a function is minimum so we conclude that if the double derivative uh, is positive at a certain point that point will be point of minimum value now we come to the uh, third case of a second derivative test when the double derivative at point c is equal to zero we again draw the portion of a certain curve to explain the third case of a second derivative test we locate two points on x axis 
the yellow balls are these two points. Uh, we call these points as x is equal to c. Uh, note that at yellow balls, the value of second derivative is zero because they are located on x-axis. Uh, now, we consider the first yellow ball and we note that uh, before this point x is equal to c, the curve is concave down. And after this point, the curve is concave up. And we know that the point where the concavity of uh, a curve changes is called point of inflection. So we can say that when f double dash c is equal to zero, the curve may get a point of inflection. Likewise, now we consider the second yellow ball to x is to be x is equal to c uh, again before uh, uh, this point x is equal to c the curve is concave up and after this point the curve is concave down so this point also is a point of inflection so we can say that we may get a possible point of inflection on a curve uh, if f double dash c is equal to 0 and we also know that if f triple dash c is not equal to 0 then certainly x is equal to c is point of inflection on the curve.